Ciao guys, we are here in Domenico Clerico with uh, Oscar. Oscar uh, now is, uh, is the end, is the brain, is actually almost everything in this winery. <laughs> almost and so we, we need, uh, we need uh, to, to see about uh, you know, him, his, uh, his new supposition. And especially I would like to know from you what now is uh, uh, Domenico Clerico after you know three years that the many passed away. So what is the news? What uh, what you want to achieve? Uh, you know, very very easy. I mean, just talk about. It. Is it right if I look to you instead of there? Yeah, very sure. Okay. One of the things that uh, that I mostly remember about about Domenico and that you know too, uh, it's that and it's something that I never found in plenty other producer. Usually the producer that never achieve some, some goals, you go to them and ask, why are you making wine? And the answer is always because my grandfather used to make wine. So Domenico was different. Domenico was, uh, if he was asking, if you never ask it to Domenico, uh, why you make wine? The answer was because they want to make the best wine in the world. So it was not about excuses. It was just about be focused and make the best wine in the world. So it was fantastic. And, and it's, uh, it's, it's about, um, know what you want from your life and try to achieve that goal. So the kind of philosophy is still the same with, uh, with Domenico Clerico right now. So we are, we are trying to be the best. Actually, we don't want to make uh, the most important Barolo in the region. We just want to make the most important Barolo in Monforte. We want to make the most characteristic, so something that tastes of Monforte. Okay, so for you, what, is the, what does it mean to be the most important? Characteristic, Barolo in Monforte. Something that you have in the glass in that moment, you taste it and you say, This is taste of Monforte during a blind tasting. This okay. is taste of Monforte and this is also good. Okay, so go if the two things go together, it says Okay, go to deep in, into this. I mean, tasting Monforte, mm -hmm. what does it mean? Means uh, if you have, uh, if you taste Barolo, usually you have more elegance, more fruitiness. If you have uh, Serra Lunga, it's a little bit more straight. Um, if you have uh, La Morra, it's the round one and big one. Monforte, it's uh, the pretty, fruity, super long finish, always fresh. That is what tastes Monforte. And what we want is that during a blind tasting, we are able to pick that our wine is representative from Monforte Dato. So that is the goal that we're trying to do. Okay. Me and Oscar, we, we, we knew Domenico pretty long. So uh, what I want to know from Oscar is, uh, Thinking about what Domenico uh, believed uh, in this area of making wine, mm -hmm. um, and uh, thinking about his way to make wine, now what you take you are taking away from him, and what uh, you are putting you. The vineyards are from Domenico, so the point, the way to grow the vineyards, it's from Domenico. We are just trying to adjust all the rules that he had in the past to what is the contemporary. So it's, uh, Domenico he was uh, making wine for the entire world. He used to make wine for the entire world, a kind of world that was made of, Barol of Bordeaux drinkers, not Barolo drinkers, in Nader Burgundy. So he was, he had to face off to those kind of guys. So it was necessary for him to create richness, uh, structure and wines, because it was necessary during the wine tasting always to put the Barolo on top of the world. You must be similar to Napa, must be similar to yeah. Bordeaux, because otherwise the customer is shocked. Right now the customer is much more knowledgeable. And we have also to think about which are our guys in front of them. During a blind tasting, during a tasting, uh, who are the new generation, what they are drinking, yeah, what they, they like they, to drink. Yeah. Because now they know what is also fine in elegant wine. They, taste they, they drink different wines, they drink different wines. That right now everyone is more about fruitiness and everyone is looking more about drinkability than rich wines. So I like what you say because this means that uh, the, any changes you guys are making now here uh, is not because uh, you think that maybe Domenico was wrong, but no, just because the world true. is different it's than changing. when. Uh, it's, so it's, you have to you have to, to evolve. Yeah, you have to evolve. Like it's just, the it's world just an evolution. So yeah. Domenico was making this. Yeah. If we make the same, we are wrong. Mm. This is my, my idea in my mind. So. If we make the same that Domenico made, we are wrong. Yeah. Because we are not we are not taking care of his name. Okay. If we want to create if you want that to respect Domenico, Domenico was able to build up a fantastic brand, a fantastic winery plus 20 hectares of great vineyards in 40 years. If we are not able to do the same 
we are we are just wrong because we we have to pay back to Domenico making something of more important that he made or unless what he made. Otherwise, but you, you are wasting you time. That, but you say that the vineyards are still the same, so the way working in the vineyards is the same. It's just on a, a, on a, a different view of the wine, following the different view of the, of the world. I agree. Okay. I agree. That is the point because it's a is a, is a useful to deny the global warming. The 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 kind of weather that we have here in Lange, it's it's always about bomb of things. So it's getting tropical because in the 80s it was different the climate. Same story comes in the wine. If you have that kind of wine, you have to have that kind of aging. So for that reason, we are moving to that kind of uh, of, of, of difference. So don't expect that we are going to change the entire uh, the entire we're not making whites and sparkling no, 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 for tomorrow yeah. it's just that we have to adjust in order to make an evolution instead to stay stuck domenico was was called a modernist because he was always facing off the problem and put his face in front of the problem and try to fix it we have to do the same we don't want to become um, lazy and just stay and survive on the name of domenico clerico <music> Okay. Okay. Now we change the, the view because uh, you know. I say okay. We are making this interview, but we work together a long, long time, so we know each other very well. Way to think about wine and uh, very curious is for me when Oscar talk about uh, when you have to drink the wine or m maybe what you think and what actually I agree also because. Uh, Keeping the wine too long, uh, spend a lot of money for the wine, uh, I don't really think is can be worth it. And actually, I think we, we agree on that, that there is a time frame where you should enjoy the wine. It's about what you want to do. Yeah. We make wine that the people must drink, and drink also that night. So in the moment that we release the wine, we are we want to make secure for ourselves that you're able to buy the bottle and drink it. With some friends, share it. In that way, our name will be spread around. It's like Domenico used to make. Domenico was known for that. Friendship, stay in the table with plenty of people. And we want to make wines that make that. Not wines that you keep in your cellar because in 10 years will be yeah. 10,000 10, 10, more, more expensive. And then we have, we have also the scores to make that. Also, the wine after you know, many years changed, became another one. It's not anymore what's supposed to be at the beginning. So you have different, uh, you have different stuff. And so, Nebbiolo, normally fresh, right? Fruity, mm -hmm. flowery, mm -hmm. fresh fruit, flowery. After 20 years, we came deep, big, liquorice, chocolate, it's whatever always, it is. It's, it's, this is always, uh, something that for me is not Nebbiolo. It's something that blew my mind. It's every time that you have someone that come in the, in the winery and say, how much have I to expect, how much, how much time have I to wait before to drink it? In that moment, my, my question to the person is, are you sure? Are you sure that are you looking for Barone and Nebbiolo or are you sure or maybe it's better if you enjoy some Barbera? My question is always, are you sure that you want really to spend those money for something that the rest of the world know, not you? Because if you come here and you say Nebbiolo is ten, Nebbiolo is ten, my friend. It's, it's you need to wait to twenty years to drink. If you, yeah? It's not your wine. Exactly. Exactly. So Oscar. You don't have to drive Sorry. a Ferrari if you don't like the color. Guys, this is something that nobody said. Okay? But we really believe in that. It's a... Um, we are lucky enough that Barol is getting a great place and everyone wants to come and visit our beautiful place because it's beautiful. But then if you during your night you want to drink a Barbera because you prefer round and rich stuff, we make Barbera and we love Barbera too. We drink Barbera also in our house. Actually, we like white maker, we don't drink so many Barol because Barol is something more for an occasion. Oh, okay, can I, can it's I, also used to, it's also necessary to celebrate. Can I, can I put it this way? It's like if you buy a supercar, super fast car, but uh, you, you keep for 20 years because you are ready now to, to drive that car. With no license. Exactly. Waiting for something. Waiting for something. Yeah, that is you, you don't enjoy, you don't enjoy what you about, have. That is about collectors. If you enjoy have a collection of cars that you never drive, yeah. which let's do it. It's uh, sure. actually, uh, it, it's one of my dreams, have a collection of but, cars. But, but I like to okay, drive. But uh, your goal, Domenico Clerico family and winery goal is uh, make wine that 
boom, finish. People enjoy, use for everyday drinking, celebration, whatever, but the bottle open. And what, what I like is that someone that called me back and tell me, I drank your 2016, I drank your 2015, I drank your 2014 and it was delicious. Mm -hmm. If someone come to me and tell me, I drank a barolo from Clerico from 85 and it was still fantastic, it's boring. It's boring because it's, a, it's something that for sure it's fantastic. It's an 85, it's a great vintage and Domenico was able to make his own job. Sure. But you're, 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 I'm not understanding which is your point. You're showing me that you have old bottles or you really want to enjoy the bottles. Because if you want to enjoy the bottles, there is something else. And then some, some guys told me, ah, oh, because you are a winemaker, and so all the winemakers get habit to that cold, those kind of tannins and acidity, so they used to drink more fresh wines, but the real people prefer to age it. If you want to age it, you need a big cellar. This means that every year, if you want to age it, you have to buy six bottles. This means that you need a wallet big like this. I grew up in a normal family, I'm not added to, to, to not big money, so I just drink oh, the right. wine and, and I use the wine for the reason sure. why, why we make it. It's, it's easy, it's, it's wine. Mm -hmm. It's nothing of more complicated than that. Okay, uh, may I ask you? You, you, you can decide not to answer. It's a more personal question. When you, when you start to work with Domenico and then, very sadly, we I, I say we because I put also myself into this. I'm yeah, with Domenico a long time. Uh, you, after that, uh, you find yourself, uh, let's say, alone. Okay. Juliana, Domenico wife is here and the other people, but you know, running the company, the, mo the most important decision, you feel alone, you are alone. Uh, what, what really for you was, or is still, uh, the most difficult uh, things to do here? <laughs> Be being the one after Domenico, so <laughs> being the one who is making the wine after you are, you are the son or the deputies or someone who took the, the, the reins after Picasso. What you do? What okay. you do? You have, but you feel <laughs> a pressure because Domenico himself, you feel like uh, have an heritage, so but from Domenico. So you have to face Domenico, no, or you feel a pressure from the world? Second one, absolutely. Oh. I'm super genuine. I'm super genuine and like Domenico was, like you are. So we used to speak like this with Domenico. We, how many times we argue with Domenico, how many times we scream with Domenico, and how many times we argue with Domenico. It's, but also with you, it's a, he was a, a kind of man, super easy, and, and like, like we are. I don't feel anything from him. I know that he is happy about we are doing and I know that he absolutely is happy about what I'm doing for him, for him and for his wife, and keeping his name. Because I know that if I'm right or if I'm wrong, I'm doing with my heart. So I'm putting all myself 100% in this. This night I'll be here until uh, probably 11 p.m. and I'd like to do it and it's not a problem, it's something that I know. And I know that Domenico also from the sky understand this. It's not that the point, it's about the people who expect what Domenico mm. should be. Domenico was always changing. Domenico every year was inventing something. Yeah, this is not a good point. And this is what yeah, we yeah. are doing. Right yeah, now. yeah. Who knows, who, who knew Domenico very well, knows that Domenico always tried to, to evolve, to make push different the things, forward. push the limit further. Yes. And uh, he was like that, for sure. Yeah, you're right. And you're it's, right. Um, it's something that it's, um, it's important. It's, it's, it's normal that you, that you, that you are under the light if you are caring or if you are such a, such a kind of sure, sure. Domenico was a, was Domenico Perico, one of the probably the 10 most important one maker in the Barolo area one of the the reason why Barolo is Barolo right now unless 10 percent of that sure. come from Perico sure, sure, sure. and it's, uh, it's, uh, it's for sure a pretty easy heritage to, to carry and but in the other side I know that Domenico was a, was a kind of man that was not about selling it was just about making wine because he, he loved wine. He loved wine and loved to make, to put himself in the glass. Yeah. Every time that he was tasting a Barolo from Clerico, yeah, you, know, you understood which was his character. Yeah. And so we are just doing the and, same. And I think also that Domenico want to also make people love Barolo. Yes, yes, he try always to make people, you know, get into Barolo. He was working for the entire system, not just for him. Okay. He was always, every tasting with him was always tasting wine from the others. And okay, after all these uh, I mean, months and years, uh, 
so far are you satisfied you are you start to be i mean more confident uh, happy about the choices i'm less conf- i'm less confident actually okay. <laughs> i was more confident in the first oh, period yeah. I'm less confident because right now the scores are getting every year bigger and bigger and bigger and the journalists put the attention on us. So this before is, we was, was what you were working for. Yes, but before we was uh, um, young and uh, mm. young wide okay, wide well, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> Right now we know that we have a position on, on the map. So we know that we should respect what we are what, what, kind of situation that we have, we are still respecting anybody, and you know what I mean. And uh, right now the pressure is much higher than before. Yeah, well, much higher because right now we are more under the light than before. I know that we have a pretty strong team, I'm happy of that. It's, uh, this makes the things much easier. So having a young team around, it's, it's necessary in my opinion. Also because in the moment that you are stressed, you can speak with the others. And if you are more or less in the yeah, same age, a, like in a family, you have a shoulder. You have a, you have a support. You have a, a support. Yeah. So it's, a, it's more about, in my opinion, it's more about the team. It's, it's something that, we, that is important for us. Domenico was the artist. And you can't replace an artist with another artist. The only thing that we have to do is, okay, he created this. We, we don't want to be again the artist. We just want to. Keep you, you don't want to be another domain. Exactly. You, can, we just you want can, to keep, anyway. We just we just want to keep what he, he made, make it well and more in some of the time. Some of the time where we are living right now. That is the reason why we are living in team and we stay like in the family because every opinion in the group has the same kind of uh, importance. 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 Yeah, yeah. importance. So it's it's it's, it's that. No, you work in a team and you you try to. To achieve your goal, that's it. And from my, you know, from my point of view, that I start to, to know Domenico more than 20 years ago. I have to say that sincerely, honestly, I'm happy to see this. Uh, I mean, I'm happy that Domenico was uh, right and wise to choose you. Oh, uh, <laughs> because, because, no, I know, but you know, uh, things are really. I, I don't know, I don't know how to explain, but I like the wine, I like the way, I like the, um, the mind. It's, the, it's, it's, it's mostly, it's mostly is about that, because the things that put me, put me pressure, it's, it's about the style. Mm. Every, because we actually we are changing, <laughs> it's, uh, it's, sure. it's the reality. Sure, we, sure. We are moving farther again and again, like Domenico made, we are moving farther than even another time. Who knows if this will be the right choice. The only thing that every time makes me relax about this kind of, of thing is about uh, know that we are doing for good. Mm-hmm.